hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Timmy Banjo thank you guys for coming here and once again you know to see my pretty face welcome 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 if it's your first time here definitely welcome if you are stopping here again because you love my face welcome so today I'm doing the get to know me tag like I didn't want it to be like an privacy or a privacy evasion I just wanted to be see I I just wanted to keep it simple as possible but the questions I was getting okay let's you know get right into the video I am Temi Temi Banjo my full name is or uh, Temi Tokwe Uluwa Sheon Okubanjo I am a Yoruba girl and I'm proud okay I'm from Ogun State right here in Nigeria but I live I was born in Lagos I live in Lagos but I've been to the village some time ago uh, I am a graduate a graduate of estate management from Covenant University I am so proud of my school I am a graduate of estate management Covenant University and I am about to serve this is year 2019 I'm hopefully I'm going to serve sometime this year it means NYSC if you're serving for your country you need to serve your country it's very very compulsory and also i plan on being a full-time youtuber content creator brand influencer yada 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 and so on and so forth so i'm going to go into the questions i have for this video i don't know whether i should read the names of the people that um sent in their questions meanwhile these questions are from my instagram um story i just posted on my story that you could ask me any questions so i got my questions from instagram so i'll be reading from lara light okay this question is i don't know uh, oh, let me just read it uh, i really don't have a question or should i say it's a it's a question what can you eat in place of those keto foods because me i don't oh i can't afford all those foods you're always posting and i don't like salad at all okay some of you may know that i am on a keto diet because that is like the only diet i saw that could work for me long time because i get to eat as much as i want if you understand where the keto diet works you know how it works and you know the keto inside anyways this is like an alternative keto meal and for you to find out you people see what i post on my story like i post um eggplant amala who doesn't eat amala in nigeria like amala is sweet i post them um, coconut bread those are the normal food every nigerian eats any other day so just you need to just do your research and find out what works for you you find definitely find things to eat okay so i'm reading from underscore 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 d e e e e is it true you wrote jam seven times before getting <laughs> admission if yes how did you feel and overcome it Let me start by saying, failure ain't no shit. Failure ain't no shit. Like, I don't know, but should I say I'm not scared to fail? Cause I'm not even afraid of failure. Like, it's just there. You're just failure. Ugh. So, did I write jam seven times? No, I did not write jam seven times. Wait, what? Paper. <laughs> To seven, <laughs> you are six times. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> oh, it's not funny. <laughs> okay, I wrote down six times. But let me explain. Like, there's an explanation. I'm not totally dumb. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. I wrote my first jump in 2000. Should I start by saying I will repeat it first of all? <laughs> hey God, there we go, save you, amen. <laughs> okay, I wrote my first jump in 2009. That was my first jump ever in SS3. Like, 
and I passed like I got 200 and something but in my school set like the secondary school certificates which we all do I have Meko I didn't make some um, subjects so I couldn't get into Unilag for the course I wanted which was architecture like so I had to rewrite another jam so I stayed at home for one year the second year I wrote another jam I had 199 and after that jam I got I couldn't get into school I couldn't get into uni because uni had you had to have 200 you had to have yes 200 the cutoff mark for uni was 200 notwithstanding like other schools had their own cutoff mark set at maybe 230 250 and all that and I had 199 like I did it myself I did it myself I didn't cheat so that was like something uh -huh. so yes I got into Yabatech to study architecture because Yabatech could take me there so I got into Yabatech to study architecture so along the lines I was in Yabatech every year I kept on writing jam because I wanted to go to uni but I, my parents didn't want me to sit at home for so long so they you know took me they advised me to go to a polytechnic so 2009 I wrote jam, 2010 I wrote jam, 2011 I wrote jam, 2012 I wrote jam. Like I kept on writing jam to get into university but it wasn't happening for good reasons. 2012, 13, 14, 6. 2014 I wrote jam. You know, I didn't even have it in my mind, anywhere in my mind. It was not anywhere near my head or senses that I was going to end up in Covenant University because I already wrote Covenant University exams in 2009 and I kind of like didn't want to go because of how I heard it was and I just came out from school I wanted to experience life I wanted to go to a public university and flex and be a big girl that I am all right so I got into Covenant University all this while I was in I was in Yaba Tech. I worked for my IT stores, blah blah blah. My ND one, I finished it. IT. So I wasn't totally being useless at home. I wrote jam six times. Yes. Do I regret? No. Did I learn any lesson? Yes. What lesson? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me read the concluding part of the question. How did you feel and overcome it? well i overcame it by saying god's time is the best something like that like i was very very mature i got into uni at the age of 22. Mm -hmm. so i was very mature when i entered uni like my head my senses were complete i was an adult i knew what i wanted i know like i knew i, I didn't have to play i knew everything everything was just clicking for me so yes that is my jam story. The next one says hi hi Miss Aramide. I love your makeup and all, but how can I know my foundation color and what brand is better? That question is very vague. Very vague. Very conspicuous. Very wide. I don't know if you can talk to me what personally. Is go back, okay. Temi Tokwe Olukomi. Hi, Temi. My name's Sage. I love you, girl. Your most embarrassing and funniest moments. My most embarrassing and funniest. I really have to think deep about this. Like, I can't. I don't know. Every time it's funny. I'm the kind of person that I like to laugh. So even if something is not funny, you see me laughing. Like right? there are things that are dead serious. Like you won't expect anybody to laugh, but I find humor in them. So I don't know. Like, but let me see my most embarrassing. Movie. Okay, yeah, I remember there was one time somebody introduced me to a guy and i don't know i was i think 20 then so our first date was in the church he invited me to his church we went to his church i was like okay it's church now it's not shy any place dangerous we went to his church we were there for an evening program and all of us you know in the presence of god with a man that was cute thinking he was gonna be my future partner 
all right and something happened you know when they say uh, uh, can we see like, like they, they, shout, they said something like praise God I was my people were on their seats saying hallelujah something, something, something. I, I can't remember what it was but they now said maybe praise some praise God or so so everybody was seated and me the enthusiastic girl that I, am, I jumped up and ha I don't know if that's embarrassing, but by the time I saw that, it was funny. <laughs> like, the girl was just like, uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Let me see. How? Okay, this one is from Toyosi underscore underscore O. How old are you? Ugh. I am old enough. I am an adult. Like, I can do whatever I want. Okay, let me just go into the questions. Like this will make you faster. Who is your hero? Uh, Jesus. He's everything to me. Jesus is my hero. Like he's my rock, my savior. He is my hero. Do you have a boyfriend or a significant other? Next. What is your biggest fear? My, my biggest fear will be any terminal disease. Like, I'm so scared. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. Nothing. Cancer, whatever it is. Whatever terminal disease it is. Like, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to see it. No. Uh, what would you change about yourself if you could? Nothing. Wait, what should I change about myself? Uh, what would I change about myself? I think my waistline. Like I want a smaller waistline. Just that. What's your favorite thing about being a makeup artist or a content creator? Like, I've always said I wanted to do what I love for a living, so, you know, working 9 to 5, I'm not saying 9 to 5 is bad, I'm not saying I can't do 9 to 5, but I always wanted to do what I love for money, even before people used to say, um, whatever you do, monetize it and all that, like even before the saying came out, I always knew I wanted to, because I don't like being told what to do, not just that, I... I don't know. What's your favorite game? <laughs> My favorite game is watching movies. I don't know. I'm very boring. Not very boring, but I'm not really an outdoor person. I'm, I love being indoors a lot. Or radio station. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows I love radio. I love like. I, and I know so many frequencies off my head, but now they added new frequencies like Urban FM, Sound City, and some other new ones. But I, the one I love right now, the one I'm loving right now, is Classic FM. Like, I love, I don't know, I'm weird, kind of weird. I love old school music. Classic FM is 97.3. And you play old songs, old school, the 70s, the 80s, Michael Jackson, um, Jill Scott, Brandy, you name it. Um, what's your favorite author? I hardly read books. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life. Ha! Huh. One meal for the rest of my life. I'll have said bread, bread and mayonnaise, but I'll blow up. So I would be choosing lettuce wrap. That's a part of my keto diet meal that I fell in love with. It's like shawarma. It's like he replaces shawarma a hundred times. Lettuce wrap will do that for me. And do I have a nickname? What's my nickname? I, I used to have a nickname in secondary school. My nickname in secondary school was Okubombom. <laughs> hey, Okubombom. <laughs> but now I don't think I have a nickname. Do I like surprises? Ugh. Do I like surprises? 
I feel it should surprise me. Don't let me know. Like I like I don't like suspense. I don't like having hint. If you want to surprise me, yes, yeah, surprise me. Let me be surprised. Don't let me know a surprise is coming. So yes, I, I think I love su surprises. What are your hobbies? Because you are mostly at home and on your story you show a lot of food. Is that a question? What are my hobbies? Okay. My hobbies I like to Ooh, actually don't have a hobby okay i like to cook yes i love cooking i love looking for new recipes like i love creating things uh, i love cooking like duplicating recipes most of the time watching new recipes you know cooking this looks nice taking pictures of my food like you guys see i post them almost all the time so if you are not on my insta or snapchat oh, come on do you love pets do you have dogs or cats okay yes i do i love dogs then where do you see yourself in five years and did you know you'll be here in five years time yes i did i knew i'll be a graduate in five years my course was five years nothing could make me stay back a month <laughs> after writing down six times <laughs> if i joking you know. <laughs> yes now nah, i knew i was going to be a graduate in five years so where do i see myself in five years i see myself flourishing prosper um are you a half are you a glass glass half full or half empty i love this question god bless you she she know i am me i am definitely a half full like how you see something that is occupied like something has a content inside and you chose to go with the negative part empty you do not want to choose the full part it's the empty part you are going with it's definitely half full. Yeah, if you are half full, like they say, if it's half full, you are optimistic. If it's half empty, you are a pessimist. Okay. What do you take with you on a deserted island? Why would I be going to a deserted island in the first place? What am I looking for? Like I said, I like staying in my house. Well, what would I be looking for on a deserted island? Come on. Do I collect anything? Yes. I like to collect things. Just small, small ornaments. I don't know. Like empty bottles, tiny ones. She has those perfume bottles, beads. Not all the time, but beads, like unique ones. Boxing, just small, small things. Yeah, I collect them for it has reduced now. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm both. Okay. What do you do to keep fit? Cause you don't work out or I haven't seen you work out in a long time but your body looks really nice. Thank you. What do I do to keep fit? Keto baby. Keto does it all. Like like I said, Keto is your waist trainer. Keto is your weight loss. I don't know. And you get to eat. Like eat as much as you eat fat. Where else can you get that from? It's Keto baby. Keto does it. What song is your best song? I don't have a best song. Who is your first crush? What's that? <laughs> Can never be me. What? On a scale of 1 to 10, would you say you are funny? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't judge if I'm funny or not. But I like to make people laugh if it works. And I like to laugh, so I'll stay at five. If you could describe yourself as an animal, which one would you? A human being animal. What is one thing you will never do again? Okay? Hmm. 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 What is one thing I will never do again? Okay? Uh, I, I, I will never go to a party that I'm not invited to. I don't have a close connect with somebody there. I don't know anything I'll never do. Huh. Oh, yes, I know. One thing I'll never do. Be a movie for a boy. Ah, can never be me. Mm. 
Mm, have you ever had a secret admirer or a what's this? Or a stalker? Ah, how will I know if I have a stalker? Anyways, uh, secret admirer. Yes, of course, baby. I'm cute. I'm pretty. What are you thinking? Where do you get your clothes from? Because you really look nice in your outfit almost all the time. What's almost all the time? It's all the time. Where do I get my clothes from? Uh, I get them from stores. Sometimes my friend buys them for me. Or when people travel, I make them shop for me. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Do you wear makeup every day when you go out? Well, in school, I wear makeup almost every day because it's the full package but when i'm home like jumping bus in the sun all those things except i'm going for a very important function or something yes i wear makeup how long does it take you to get ready in the morning it depends from wearing makeup like my makeup on myself i hardly do eyeshadow so my makeup on myself should be like 30 20 minutes at most 40 so in an hour i should be ready what would you do if you won the lottery? <laughs> first of all, firstly, I'll pay my tithes. Because I'm a Christian and I believe in tithing. I'll pay my tithes. After I tithe, uh, I'll get a lawyer. I'll get an ad. No, I just need a lawyer. Or a, a financial somebody to help me arrange my spending and investment something 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 before i now you know give my mommy my daddy my sisters now start traveling after traveling settle down you know leave the baby girl that is tired that i deserve all right let me see what is that thing you cannot do without on a regular day every every day regular day every day Something I can't do without. What we do here is go back, 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 <sighs> back, 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 back. Mm. My phone. I can't do it on my phone. Oh, I can't. I don't know. What's your favorite color? Uh, black, white. Have you ever been angry before? What makes you angry or what triggers you? Yes, I have been angry. I'm angry at people who don't have integrity, people who try to take advantage of you, people who annoy me. I'm angry at all of them. What motivates you to work hard? What motivates me? Money, baby. Money, it is money. It's always the coins, please. I need to be rich. Everybody needs to be rich. So if at all, nobody wants to be begging. So money should motivate. Money motivate. Uh, what is my proudest accomplishment? Being a graduate of a university, number one in Nigeria. <laughs> what makes you laugh the most? What makes you laugh the most? Anything makes me laugh. I find humor in almost anything. I'm telling you. Like, there's humor in everything, you just have to look for it, so, I laugh. Okay, this one is quite personal, so. How did you feel being in school with people who were six years younger than you? Seven, seven, eight years younger than you, or five years younger than you? Did you feel like you had to dominate them, or no? Like you, are, you will not even know that. Like I blended in. That's one thing about me. Once I'm somewhere, I it's very easy for me to blend in. I didn't have to tell them, oh, I'm your auntie or I'm your senior or something, something. They will later realize themselves and everything. And I feel respect is reciprocal. So if you respect them, they will respect you. You don't demand respect. So once we interacted and we found out that. You know, I'm older than them, and I keep my distance, my boundaries. We respect each other, and the respect was returned. So it wasn't a problem. What is your favorite movie? Hmm. 
my favorite movie. My favorite movie is Apocalypto. I like Apocalypto. I like Molly and me. Like if you watch Molly and me and you don't cry, who are you? I'm not saying I cried, but I almost cried. But Apocalypto movie. What's your favorite subject in school? Have you ever had a surprise party? No. <laughs> See, my friends don't read me. I don't understand. I've never, never had a surprise party. I don't understand. Am I not friendly enough? Like, don't, am I not what? I don't get you guys. You need to step up your game. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a get to know me tag. Later on, I, I'll be filming other videos. Maybe you made my privacy, something like that, when I'm comfortable enough with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please what are you waiting for? Darling, 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 come on, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Also, remember to like, share and give this video a thumbs up also and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.